A Life Well Lived, an obituary remembering George Mackenzie Phillips, Jr. Of all the beautiful things in George's life, one of the most beautiful and unmatched was his character and sense of purpose. He lived an honorable and upstanding life with a passion for the care of others, an unconditional love for his family, admirable strength, and an undeniable faith in God. George Mackenzie Phillips, Jr. lived a fruitful and a wonderful life. Although we know he is still watching over us from above, he finally went to rest with God's angels in heaven on Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. George Mackenzie Phillips, Jr. was the firstborn son of Anna Pearl and the late Dr. George Mackenzie Phillips, Sr. He was welcomed into the world at Freedman's Hospital in Washington, D.C., on April 19, 1952. He attended primary and secondary school in the Crownsville area of Anne Arundel County, Maryland. His college years began at Anne Arundel Community College and he furthered his studies of behavioral health at Oakland University in Rochester, Michigan. George grew up in an active, fun-loving, music-filled household with four talented brothers, Ernesto, Muhammad, Orlando, and Greg, and three creative sisters, Cynthia, Diane, and Lisa, who loved him and shared in his passion for music. On June 10, 1978, he married his teenage sweetheart, Gayla Suzanne Finney. He was a loving father to the apples of his eye, namesake George Mackenzie III, a.k.a. Giorgio, and daughter, Jiva Carlinthia, nicknamed by him as his Gidi Bidi Weedy. He was so very proud of his children in every way. George Jr. was blessed to be a proud grandfather, affectionately called Papa. <laughs> the marriage of Giorgio to his beloved Hannah, whom Papa also loved dearly, blessed him with his beautiful granddaughter, Grace Noel, age two and 10-month-old grandson, also his namesake, George Mackenzie IV. He anxiously awaited their visits for his extra special hugs, piano lessons, and popos. In the early 80s, before embarking on his health services career, George was a founding member and lead vocalist of the internationally known gold record recording artists, Starpoint. The single, Object of My Desire was a worldwide hit. And he sang lead on such songs as Say You Will and Duet Till the End of Time. On keyboards, George vibed like no other. He collaborated as a writer on many songs, but most closely to his heart is the one he wrote alongside his friend, Don Spector if God made us in his image, which George sang and recorded with his daughter. George began his career in behavioral health in 1999, retiring as a programs manager for community treatment services in 2018 from the Anne Arundel County Department of Health. He pioneered and implemented many programs that walked the walk of his passion to reduce the stigma associated with substance use disorders. He conceived Anne Arundel County's transitional re-entry assistance program, known as ROSC, Recovery-Oriented System of Care, to help close the circle needed to effectively provide services and resources for the recovering addict. He helped develop and marched proudly through the streets of downtown Annapolis at every annual recovery walk even though his own health challenges could easily have kept him away. He waged a never-ending battle to lift up real people and to bring awareness to real struggles associated with the nation's opioid crisis. George stood vigil at the first annual International Overdose Awareness Day in 2016. On Mondays each week, George could not be found in his office 
because he was advocating for clients in Anne Arundel County's circuit drug court. He was a powerful voice for the underrepresented and marginalized. As a result of his unrelenting efforts, he became a cherished and respected member of the community. His quiet manner and gentle strength attracted people to him. He was a behind the scenes person, always diligently working to get things done. And if you knew George, you'll remember that he had little patience for red tape and excuses. Although he received many professional awards, including an honorary doctorate of humane letters from the New York College of Health Professionals in 2014, receiving recognition or credit for his work paled in comparison to the sense of achievement and joy he experienced through helping others. On weekends and in his spare time, you could find George watching the news, critiquing a good game of soccer with Giorgio, or in his signature game day outfit, hoping his team, the Dallas Cowboys, would pull out a win. With a smile on his face and a joyful spirit, George overcame and persevered through medical challenges in his later years. Although he is already deeply missed, his family and friends are grateful that God lovingly called him to give him rest. We know that George is relaxing pain-free, sunglasses on, hat backwards, and with a genuine smile on his face, saying to all of us, I'm good. Everything I ray. George is survived by his wife, Gayla, son, George III, daughter in love, Hannah, daughter, Jeeva, grandchildren, Grace and George IV, beloved mother, Anna Pearl, brothers, Mohammed, Orlando, and Greg, sisters, Diane and Lisa, a host of nephews, nieces, cousins, and so many other family and friends deeply touched by his life. George reunited with his father, George Sr., brother Ernesto, and sister Cynthia in heaven. <laughs>